Ryan here with E39 Source, and welcome to my office. It's a little bit more populated than the last time you saw, though not much. I don't spend a whole lot of time in here. Uh, today's video is kind of a little fun one, a little nerdy one, aren't they all? On uh, window stickers. Some of us were lucky enough to get these things with our cars if we had original or previous owners uh, that were organized enough to keep them with the car, whether that's in the glove box or in preferably a big old binder of paperwork like where I got mine. Now it's 20 years old and it's showing some wear and some fade and you can't read all the numbers as clearly as you used to or all the letters as clearly as you used to. Um, so it was uh, brought to my attention that there's a, a company called Stuttgart Studios, and this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. I just want to make this aware to you guys. If you're nerdy enough to want one of these for your car, you can have one made, and it's extremely specific. And uh, this guy Chris over at Stuttgart Studios, I'll leave this website down below, um, has an incredible eye for detail and goes over every single character and every little detail and option and... Um, and the background and I mean he's got this down so far he knows that um, that these graphics the color of this road in the background uh, changed based on the quality or the condition of the ink heads and the printer they were printing these things out I imagine somewhere here in North America or maybe at a dealer basis I don't know how and where they were printed originally but uh, if they were running low on blue or green or magenta then they would look different so he actually sends you some PDFs and allows you to look at it and if you have an original compare it to an original and try to get a close match I kinda like the gray scheme a little bit better than the brown scheme so that's just how I went uh, but this is my original I thought we'd take a look at it I, I got it with the car it was peeled off of its original paperwork so there's not anything on the back side of it uh, but it's fun to have uh, especially when we're this nerdy about these cars. It lists the year and the VIN and the options and the MSRP and the fuel economy and the standard features. And they did change year over year. If you compare this to a 2002 M5, uh, the stuff that they list under, um, under standard or comfort and convenience is a little bit different because, of course, the car changes over that time period. And they add things like automatic headlights that were no longer or that were previously not available although of course I've retrofit that so that's the original we've gotten a good look at that and uh, he actually offers three different types of of um, reproductions and this is the cheapest and the most basic type and it's it's just um, printed on a pretty heavy piece of cardstock it's it's not the same kind of wax paper as that it's just a high quality piece of cardstock paper there's nothing on the rear it's just white and then you have the option to have it say, like, peel here, there in the top left. You can't peel it. It's just printed on cardstock, as I've said. But um, that's what it originally would have looked like. And, and even down to the detail of the original part number of this thing that's printed down in the bottom right-hand corner. And I spent a good bit of time going over this one and this one and every single character and typeface and formatting and everything is just spot-on perfection. The only thing that, that he's added to this is down there... In the left-hand corner, it says Stuttgart Studios, a reproduction. So that's the only way you'd know that this is an original, of course, other than the fact it's printed on slightly different paper. Um, this is a great one to maybe, I would hate to fold it. It's so pretty. I don't, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with that one, but that was the cheapest I wanted to show you guys. Then you step up, and, and this is the one that maybe you take to a car show, and you can throw it in the windshield during the show, and this thing's laminated. And I had this one uh, to show the difference. This is the one that would have been peeled off, like like mine. It's got the rounded corner. It no longer says peel here, and it doesn't have the part number in the bottom. And then this is just laminated, blank, rear. Um, I feel like you could take that in the shower with you, and it'd be fine. And then the granddaddy here. This is my favorite. I've got to figure out where I'm going to hang it here in my office. Excuse the reflection there from the from the overhead lights. But um, this one is, is that double matted. I don't know the terminology that well, but it double matted with the white and a black. Unfortunately, you can't customize it, but it's perfect for my taste. Um, I think it's a metal frame as opposed to a wood frame. And uh, I don't know, I just think it, it's really sharp, it's really nerdy, but like in an office that's all about the E39 M5, I think it would work in here. So comes with the picture hanging hardware. And I'll give you guys a quick little view of the website here. I'm not gonna do any fancy screen recording or anything. Let me just kind of make sure I'm in focus. I'll, again, I'll leave the link down below, but he's got a portfolio on the website here with a bunch of different options. 
somehow I got into a 05 Lamborghini, but he doesn't only do BMWs. Um, I mean, here he's listing Acura, Audi, BMW, Ferrari, Honda, Jag, Lamborghini, McLaren, Mercedes, and Porsche. So uh, let's find a fun one. Somewhere on here there was a Ferrari, like a 355. It, it was, I didn't quite realize how old the VINs for those things or how old the window stickers for those cars looked. Here it is, 1999 F355 Berlinetta. And we can open that up and, and here's kind of just a scan um, of, of what that sticker would look like. And I've never even seen one uh, before, so that's kind of neat to see what that looked like. And here's a newer Ferrari. This is a 612 Scaglietti. Uh, so he does them all, and I imagine his attention, to, his attention to detail and color and correct option codes, and especially with those crazy Porsche people, um, it's probably all very good. 07 M4 Coupe, 02 M3, that'd be an E46, 01 M Coupe, really cool. We can see some of the different colors here. So this is the one, uh, the 02 Z8, another S62 car, and, uh, and this one has kind of a different coloring on the background, a little bit closer to my original. Uh, and he can he can just make that whatever you want. I kind of like the, the black and white look. And then I think this is a little bit newer, like E60 generation on the E80, what is that, E84, E89, whatever it is for the M Coupe. Uh, look like that with the color in the background. Uh, neat stuff. And then just briefly, um, those are kind of the rates there under the custom framing, the standard print, and the laminated print. And I think if you order a couple, if you want one of each, then there's there's differences in pricing and they get uh, they get cheaper. So. Uh, just kind of a PSA, if you guys uh, want a window sticker and didn't get one, there's a great place to go and have one reproduced. And uh, I don't know how you're going to get any better than this. So, thanks for watching. Check out his site below. Hey, before we go, and, and while we're nerding out here, I thought, I, I don't even remember if I've shown you guys this before. If I have, it's been a long time. Uh, this is done by Black Art Graphics, and I had this thing totally custom done for my specific car a couple of years ago, and then they stopped doing them for a while. I think they're back in, they're back in the game right now. So you guys can just buy like a blank E39 M5 Black Art Graphic, and this is... This is a piece of metal that it's like laser engraved into, and that'll just be generic. It'll just say E39 M5, or you can have them customize it for a little bit of extra money, uh, and they have my VIN on here and my name, and I have things like my license plate is on the car, and Eisenman Race 4x76mm, and you can have them customize about anything you want on here. Uh, which is just really neat and since it's laser engraved if we get a good zoom in there the quality of of the print and the quality of the material here is just through the roof and it's really neat to be able to to show off your car whether it be stock or customized you can have all this done in, in this wireframe kind of graphic. So um, I did open their website over here on the computer. Nobody's paying me to tell you this. I just think it's cool. If somebody would have shown me this a couple years ago I definitely would have been interested uh, sooner than than I found it organically. So. Um, obviously, they're not in the United States there based on the currency, but uh, it's an extra 30 to, to, um, to customize it. And uh, they've got several different sizes available, ranging, I think there's four different sizes. It's just cool stuff. And lastly, I'm fortunate enough that I think it's automobile with a O, like the German spelling of it, did a Silverstone or Blue Water, whatever, it's close enough. Um, 1 18th scale model of the E39 M5 and it's it's only missing a sunroof and of course my license plate and PDC and stuff like that but I mean that's pretty neat it's like my own car these things have gotten super expensive now um, I think they did one in Avis or Le Mans blue and, and maybe those are the most and then years ago Kenan got me this this is like a 1 43rd scale I don't even remember who made it or if it's still available or what it costs and that's another little Silverstone car so you gotta have your own little toys. I don't even know where that came from, but gotta love that too. Okay, before I spend the next four hours here going through all the old cool stuff, uh, we're gonna wrap it up, but thanks for watching. I'll leave the links to this stuff down below if you guys are interested, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next E39 Source video. Take care.